Florida, 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 come get your governor. Governor Ron DeSantis, AKA D Sanctimonious is at it again. This time plotting a hostile takeover of New College of Florida. How is he doing this? So glad you asked. By appointing well known right wing anti civil rights activist Chris Rufo. Let's go ahead and put this up. I'm proud to announce that Governor Ron DeSantis has appointed me to the board of trustees of the New College of Florida. My ambition is to help the new board majority transform New College into a classical liberal arts institution. We are recapturing. Higher education, what the hell does that mean? I didn't know higher education needed to be recaptured. I didn't know it was out loose, but according to this man, it needs to be recaptured. Now here's a peek at Chris's website to give you an idea who he is. Cuz I just want you to know, we want you to know. I'm Christopher, I'm a writer, filmmaker, and activist challenging critical race theory and gender ideology in America's institutions. Chris, not quite well no I am very sure what the hell that means but that's that's Chris ladies and gentlemen family and friends and Rufo is known for his attacks on CRT and that's critical race theory and spreading the groomer slur against gay and trans people Rufo is a senior fellow at the conservative Manhattan Institute and has spent years attempting to inject bigotry and incorrect information into mainstream discourses about gay and trans people, drag queens, and the academic discipline known as critical race theory. Rufo is also a frequent guest on Fox News, including on Tucker Carlson's primetime show that is coming from Media Matters. So this is really dangerous for the students at the university. Let's go further with this. Rufo has long wanted to exert conservative control over educational policy, calling teachers quote political predators end quote. Oh, I sigh deeply under a pretext of curriculum transparency. Now with a new formal appointment, he's positioned to threaten the safety and well-being of black and LGBTQ plus students at New College of Florida, a public liberal arts school with a reportedly significant gay and trans population. This report is coming from John from Media Matters. And the kicker is, are y'all ready for this? Well, let's go one more. Uh, Not only is Chris extremely anti LGBTQ plus, but frequently attacks a CRT. As a nationwide protest erupted in the summer of 2020 following the police murder of George Floyd in a Minneapolis suburb, Rufo began writing about, about Black Lives Matter with the goal of discrediting the movement. The man has a problem. And guess what the kicker is? See, I was trying to jump straight to the kicker. The kicker is the dude does not even live in Florida. Yeah, the dude. I call people dude, that is not good. I'm trying to contain myself. I want you to pick up on the pattern, pick up on my buzzwords, the dude. In 2020 alone, Rufo appeared 62 times on Tucker Carlson's show and mentioned CRT nearly 4,000 times. The man is a grifter. However, Rufo has admitted that he doesn't know anything about what CRT actually is and isn't interested in learning about it. But the governor of the great state of Florida put this fool on the board. Florida professors have no doubt been impacted by Governor DeSantis. No doubt about that over and over again. Let's go ahead and put this graphic up. Muzzled by DeSantis, critical race theory professors cancel courses or modify their teaching. As fewer faculty members are protected by tenure, they're finding it harder to resist laws that ban certain racial topics. Their students suffer the consequences. You got doggone right, their students suffer the consequences. And we as a society are gonna suffer the consequences too. Cuz this man is a big baby and he don't wanna talk about anything that exposes the bad and the ugly about America. No baby, only the good. Now you know there's bad and ugly. And what's wrong with telling the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? That is what education is supposed to be about edifying and lifting and elevating the minds of the people who dart the doors of those institutions. And they have got to know 
the history of this country and every single facet of it. But oh no, not the sanctimonious. Ray, this man sends me and not in a good way. Yeah, there's nothing that I would love more to just call Christopher Rufo a moron. But I can't even do that because although he doesn't know what he's talking about, he knows what he's doing. He admitted on his Twitter publicly that his plan for CRT, despite not knowing what it actually was, was to rile up parents and get them to call anything that they dislike that was going on in public schools CRT. This person is insidious and appointing him it to this position is truly horrifying, especially when it comes to free speech in public education, because they'll claim that they stand for that, but all of their actions stand squarely against free speech for students and for educators. Yeah, the only free speech rate that they stand for is the free speech that they deem worthy. That is it. You have free speech if you utilize their talking points. That's about as free as your speech is going to get. De sanctimonious is dangerous. And Florida, get your governor and America, please, for the love of God, do not let this man become president.